Hi there, I'm Deneen. Welcome to this week's Wild Offering. Today I'll be sharing about the common mullen plant and a card from Rebecca Campbell's Starseed Oracle deck. First, the card. We are being asked to pay attention to the land in the artwork. So ignore the words, ignore the sky, notice the land. There is an essence of dryness, of barrenness, or lacking nourishment, lacking care. Um, how do these words resonate for you in your life? What is your self-care? Uh, this card is asking us to take some time to be aware, to evaluate. Uh, how much time do we expend in a day uh, towards nourishing ourselves, to fueling ourselves and caring for ourselves. We're being asked to uh, apply a 50-50 principle. Surprising, right? 12 hours of the day towards yourself. Um, do some math, think about it. Seven or eight hours of sleep, um, some hour there of food and fueling yourself with physical nourishment. Um, maybe going for a walk, uh, time with a friend. What other joyful activities do you do for yourself? Do you read? Do you watch TV? Do you surf? Do you run? Uh, 12 hours can actually add up pretty fast. Um, so the question is, how aware are you of this? Um, look into a day look into the week, um, do some quick calculation, and what are you expending for yourself? How are you fueling and nourishing yourself? Be careful because if we, you give too much, you expend too much energy to the world outside of you, for other people, for your work, uh, resentments can rise, and that's not good for anyone, especially you. So take a peek, look a little closer. Does the 50-50 principle fit into your life? Um, does it work well for winter and do you need to adjust it for spring? Consider and reflect. Next, the common mullen plant. I'm on the edge of this large field and in the fall, um, the mullen plant was here and showy and beautiful. Um, not so much here now, this winter day. Uh, the common mullen is asking us to pay attention to silence. Encouraging us that silence is the key to powerful growth. So I interpret silence as stillness, quietness, presence. Uh, in your environment, um, being still in yourself. Um, this is a really good reminder for me at this time of the year. As it snows right now, I more easily find quietness and stillness in the winter. This is harder for me to do in the spring, especially over the next few weeks as the excitement just ramps up with new growth and birds returning and warm sunny days getting longer and longer. So Mullen is asking us to notice the quietness in our environment and in our bodies, in our minds. Relinquish control of your environment and slip into seamless stillness. Yeah. Um, find your sit spot or your favorite chair and relax into quietness, into stillness. One of my mentors encouraged me to listen for the quiet between the sounds. If you keep looking for them, they'll be there. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you find some gratitude in the stillness and silence of these last couple weeks of winter and 
Until next time, have a great week.